Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another awesome Ninjago video on the channel. In today's video, I'm back again with another Ninjago Dragons Rising video. I have not talked about anything Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 2 on the channel yet. I'm very late to the party on content creation for this new season. I want to get into the rhythm of making videos up into when the season actually drops because I like doing these type of videos. I know there's a whole bunch of stuff that came out for it already. There's a lot of uh, little trailers on YouTube and the sets came out. I still have to get those sets. It pains me that I don't have them yet. But yeah, uh, I just want to, you know, get into the rhythm of starting to do Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 2 content. So I do hope you guys will enjoy the content, you know, from now all the way until, you know, I decide to stop doing content on Dragons Rising Season 2. But in today's video, I want to take the time to kind of analyze and break down the trailers that we got for uh, Dragons Rising Season 2, but there's a decent amount. I will say that these are coming out like a lot, like very sporadically, and there might be trailers that aren't in this video because they're coming out so much, and I, you know, this the, the, the ones that are out right now are the ones I'm going to be covering. So yeah, I, I don't want to hold you guys any longer with this long ass intro so without further ado, let's get into this, starting off with the first one being the Ninja Mission Begins. So this one starts off with Lloyd, Nia, and Aaron on the, uh, sorry, and Sora on the Destiny's Bounty. Uh, Lloyd seems to be falling asleep and Nia kind of wakes him up. Um, Lloyd continues to have visions, so um, this, this was something that like kind of confused me because... Like, for me, at least, it isn't super apparent in Dragon's Rising Part 1 what Lloyd was seeing and what was happening when he touched, you know, the Source Dragon or whatever. But now it's kind of confirmed that throughout this season, Lloyd is going to have visions of the future and stuff, which I think is very, 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 very cool for Lloyd's character and just for the season as a whole story-wise. So yeah, so Lloyd, you know, ends up having visions and stuff, like I said, after touching the Switch Dragon. Um, and he basically talks to Nia about, uh, he just, he doesn't know what to follow anymore. Does he follow his, his own mind? Or does he follow the visions on what to do um, in the future? And he's like, Nia, how am I supposed to, you know, train the next generation of ninja that being obviously Lloyd, uh, Lloyd uh, uh, Sora and Aaron, if I can't even think on my own because I have this, you know, this other thing being the visions that are guiding me in a certain direction. And Nia being as awesome as she is, she's like, Lloyd, I follow you, you alone and not your visions. And um, that's kind of it for that trailer. These trailers are pretty short, honestly. Like, the best we're going to get out of half of them is, like, maybe three minutes. So, these are going to go by pretty fast. But, yeah, that was that one. Honestly, pretty interesting stuff. Um, another thing is, too, is that we see in this trailer that we see a little bit of the new suits. But they actually have these, like, attachments that are on the new suits, which are pretty cool. I wonder if we're going to get actual minifigs for them. Again, I'm not too knowledgeable on the sets because I think the sets are already out, but I haven't seen them yet. Uh, I think they've been out since January, at least over where I live here in the U.S. So, yeah, but um, yeah, let's get on to the next trailer. The next one is called Can Master Lloyd's Visions Be Trusted? So basically, this one starts off with Lloyd having visions again. And it's scaring him a lot, which I mean is understandable. I mean, you have you're having visions of an apparent future that might end up coming true, and it might not be good. So I totally understand where Lloyd's coming from on that. Aaron and Sora basically go and help him, and Lloyd tells them that he sees a vision of a master that can help them beat their enemy. 
So, pretty interesting. I mean, for the concepts of seeing visions, I mean, I guess that makes sense for the purpose of the story. He sees somebody who can help him, you know, take down who they need to take down. So, yeah, I mean, honestly, that's a pretty interesting concept and stuff. But, yeah, that was that one. I was even shorter than the other one. Let's get on to the next one called Lord Roz is Back, which obviously we already know that Lord Roz was going to be back and be the main villain for the next season. I do hope people knew that. But, yeah, it starts off with Lord Roz and Georgiana. I'm totally butchering that. I'm sorry. Uh, I think it's Georgiana, Georgiana. I don't know. My bad. Uh, don't don't attack me, please. It's hard to pronounce names sometimes. Uh, they're basically going through a forest in Imperium. And um, they're basically talking and stuff. And they're just, you know, talking about life. And Lord Roz is like, uh, you, you basically didn't go through what I had to go through growing up because you grew up in Imperium, which is like, you know, the premium living place, the premium city, blah, 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 blah. And they end up at a temple and it ends. Very simple trailer just to show, obviously, that Lord Roz is back and trying to find some new power, I think. But yeah, um, the next trailer is called The Training Begins. Uh, Lord Roz um slaps uh a gong which th okay this trailer is kind of all over the place so you're gonna see me talking about all different things in this trailer that aren't really super connected so you're mostly just gonna be watching this one to see the new characters and stuff but yeah he slaps a gong and then we see uh, one of the new main villains that are part of Lord Roz's squad called Cinder um, he's basically fighting the ninja. Um, the one of the main ninjas, obviously, he's fighting Kai. Uh, also, uh, we end up going and we see that the ninja are fighting a very familiar dragon. Now, if you are not watching these trailers, so you're not spoiled for the season, this dragon looks like a very, very similar character that I'm not gonna say. For the sake of those who don't want to be spoiled. But the moment you see him, you know exactly who that dragon is. Um, and then the last part of the trailer is the ninja uh, playing some training game. But it's more like, like a kind of like a little ninja sports game. Seems interesting. Um, it's Sora and Eren versus the rest of the ninja team. And it's like a, you know, like a, a game. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. So yeah, the, the, that was the trailer. Uh, I mean, nothing super special, nothing like mind blowing, but still a good look at the new characters and everything for the season. Now the next one is the uh, the season two official trailer, and this one is also like this writing begins, where it's all sorts of stuff into one trailer, you know, just to show off. The, the, uh, the overall season, which makes sense, is it's called the Season 2 trailer. But yeah, it starts off with Lloyd fighting Cinder, which I think this is the same fight as what they showed in the training begins. But there it was Kai fighting Cinder. This time it's Lloyd fighting Cinder. And um, they show uh, some Ninjago City live stream. So I guess to get with the times these days, Ninjago... Uh, city citizens or newscasts are doing like live streams and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we see Lloyd talking to the Source Dragons. Now this is crazy because I'm like, wow, Lloyd is very important once again for the story of Ninjago, which isn't a bad thing. But I, when the season comes out, I want to see like, like why. He's talking to the Source Dragons and stuff like that. Just, I don't know, just interested in the story overall. Um, and then we end up seeing Lloyd uh, kind of tripping out about his visions again. And, you know, obviously it's like, like I said before, like, he's like, he doesn't want to believe what's going to happen. Because every single time he seems to have a vision, it's never about anything good. Um, and then the vision he ends up having is something about a blood moon. 
Now, I'm not going to go on a tangent here, but apparently this Blood Moon thing is like the main thing for this season. Apparently, Lord Roz is trying to gain the power of the Blood Moon or awaken something in the Blood Moon. I'm not 100% sure. I don't really know the Pacifics, but that seems to be kind of the new thing uh, for this season. Um... And then also we get to see Ryu. My man is all grown up. He's like way bigger than he was in Dragon's Rising Season 1. He's still a cute dragon though. Really, really, really cool. Um, and then uh, we end up seeing um, the Master of Wind again. Which I expected that to happen because you don't just kill off Moro in Season 5 and bring back the power of wind and a new character and not have that character be a main character. So I expected her to come back, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, and then we uh, pretty much um, end up seeing um, Sora and Aaron talk about, you know, their powers. And Sora's like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not really the best at this. And Aaron's, like, giving her, like, words of encouragement. And he's like, well, I don't even have powers. And then she's like, oh, well, you have spinjitsu. I don't know if that's how that's close enough. But, you know, they're, they're, they're having a moment, which is very cool. So, um, so, yeah. So, the next one is the teaser trailer. And this teaser trailer is legit, like, 20 seconds. And all it is... Is Lloyd having nightmares of him running from his visions and the enemies? That's kind of kind of all we see. And I guess it's like a showing of, you know, Lloyd being afraid of his visions and stuff. Which, again, is understandable since it's never showing him anything good. But, yeah. So, the final trailer I have to analyze and break down for you guys is literally called The Blood Moon. So, Roz and Jordana... Uh, are going into the temple and they're basically talking about uh, the blood moon and Lord Roz is talking about reviving his people so this trailer is short too but this just basically gives us info that um I guess Lord Roz's people are bye bye they're they're pretty dead and I guess this blood moon is what brings them back to life. So it's a pretty interesting concept. Um, you know, I can't wait to see it when the full season comes out and uh, stuff like that. So, but yeah, that's kind of all I have for you guys today. This is probably the only video I'm going to do kind of, you know, analyzing these trailers because there's so many of them coming out. That it's like, it's not worth me making multiple videos. I just thought, since we're getting so much info with these starting trailers, that I might as well do a video on it. So yeah, I do hope you guys did enjoy the video. And yeah, I catch you guys in the next one. Peace.